Daily Words of God People believe in God, love God, and satisfy God by touching the Spirit of God with their heart, thereby obtaining the satisfaction of God. And when engaging with God's words with their heart, they are therefore moved by the Spirit of God. If you wish to achieve a proper spiritual life and establish a proper relationship with God, you must first give your heart to God and quiet your heart before God. Only after you have poured your whole heart into God can you gradually have a proper spiritual life. If, in their belief in God, People do not give their heart to God. If their heart is not in God, and they do not treat God's burden as their own, then everything they do is cheating God and is the actions of religious people, unable to receive God's praise. God cannot get anything from this kind of person. This kind of person can only serve as a foil to God's work, like a decoration in the house of God, filling the seats and taking up space, and as a good-for-nothing. God does not use this kind of person. In such a person, not only is there no opportunity for the work of the Holy Spirit, there is even more so no value of perfection. This type of person is the real walking dead. They have no components that can be used by the Holy Spirit. They have all been appropriated by Satan, corrupted to the extreme by Satan, who are the object of God's elimination. Currently, the Holy Spirit is not only using people by putting their virtues into play, but also perfecting and changing their shortcomings. If your heart can be poured into God and keep quiet before God, then you will have the chance, the qualifications, to be used by the Holy Spirit, to receive the enlightenment and illumination of the Holy Spirit, and you will even more so have the opportunity for the Holy Spirit to make up for your shortcomings. When you give your heart to God, you can enter more deeply on the positive side and be on a higher plane of understanding. On the negative side, you will have more understanding of your own faults and shortcomings you will be more eager to seek to satisfy God's will. And in a non-passive state, you will actively enter. And this will mean that you are a correct person. On the premise that your heart is calm before God, the key of whether or not you receive praise from the Holy Spirit, whether or not you please God, is whether you can actively enter. When the Holy Spirit enlightens a person, uses a person, it never makes him negative and always makes him positive and eager to progress. Even though he has weaknesses, he is able to not live according to them. He is able to refrain from delaying his life growth and he is able to continue to seek to satisfy God's will. This is a standard which sufficiently proves that a person has obtained the presence of the Holy Spirit. If a person is always negative, and even after being enlightened to know himself, is still negative and passive, unable to stand up and act in concert with God, then this type of person just receives the grace of God but the Holy Spirit is not with him. When a person is negative, this means that his heart has not turned to God. His spirit has not been touched by God's Spirit, and this should be recognized by all.
to believe in God Man should touch God's spirit with heart With heart So they get God's satisfaction Man should engage God's word with heart So they are moved, moved by the Spirit of God. If people do not give their heart to God and their belief in Him, His burden they don't embrace They cheat God, practice religion Oh, oh And all they do It cannot receive God's praise When you give all your heart to God You can have a deeper entry quiet before him before him you'll be used by holy spirit illumination you'll receive oh, oh. holy spirit will make up for what you Each subtle moving in spirit, in spirit, and each enlightenment from God. Hold on to this. becomes obtuse and numb someone like this won't have a right understanding of words of god or a proper relation with god and their disposition won't change changing one's disposition is to give their heart fully over to god and to receive enlightenment from all the words that god has said Your 